I've been thinking. It's time for a change. Welcome to Engage. Yep, we're 20 episodes in and I've decided to rebrand the show. So from this point forward, we're now going to be known as Engage or Engage with David Walker rather than Internet Marketing Revealed, what it has been up to this point. And in this episode, it's going to be a bit shorter than the episodes that I've recorded previously. But here I just want to give a few reasons as to why I've decided to rebrand the show and change the name and and all of that stuff uh, going forward. First of all, I want to say that I've really enjoyed the entire process of creating and editing the show overall and, and doing all of the stuff that goes with that. But I think with podcasting, creating a show in the way that I have been, it is something that you very much figure out along the way. I don't think anybody goes into creating this type of content knowing fully as to what's involved or or even what they're going to get out of the entire process overall. Not unless they've had some kind of prior broadcasting experience, which I think the majority of people who enter this side of the industry uh, they they don't have so it is very much something that you just dive into and you try to figure it out along the way. So for me the intention was never to limit the show to just being all about internet marketing or, or online marketing which you might find a bit strange considering I call the show Internet Marketing Revealed but my original intention for the show was to have it as more of my own version of the Saturday Kitchen type of shows which we have here in the UK. Now, I'm not sure whether these type of shows are available outside of the UK, whether they have them in in other countries and that kind of thing. So maybe this example might not make sense, but I'll I'll try to explain it as as best as I can here. Now, the Saturday Kitchen type of show, it's been a, a staple on British TV since I was a kid, so I think something like this has always been around. And the, the setup is, is something like this. You have a well-known celebrity chef, and they're in a, a studio which is set up to look a bit like a kitchen, and they have guests on the show. Now, these guests are not just other chefs or people who are involved some way in the food industry. They come from a wide range of other industries as well. So they might have actors, musicians, TV presenters, people involved in sports or something else on the show. And the celebrity chef will interview them. They'll talk a bit about what projects they're working on at the moment and all that kind of thing. And they might then talk a bit about food. They might ask the guests, what do they like to eat? What do they like to cook? But the talk about food is usually secondary to the main conversation which is about what that guest has got going on and they talk about their experiences, their story, allows them to demonstrate some level of of expertise within that particular industry that they're operating in. And that's the kind of approach that I had in mind for Internet Marketing Revealed. I wouldn't necessarily have internet marketers or people who are involved in the online marketing industry as guests. I would talk to them about their story, about their experiences, and then perhaps try to tie that back to some area of online marketing, even if they're not specifically doing marketing, but if they're using the internet in some way to promote themselves or to further their own careers, or or that kind of thing. I was going to try and tie it back to make it relevant to the online marketing industry as a whole, if that makes sense. But after 19 episodes of doing that, that still feels too restrictive for me. It's not working for me. So what I want to do moving forward is try to move away from the show being seen as just an online marketing related show. It's not. This is my show. I want to be able to talk to guests about things that we're both going to find interest in, that we think the audience is going to find interest in, whether or not 
that relates in some way to online marketing. Now don't get me wrong, online marketing is a huge passion of mine. It's something that I've been involved in in some capacity since 1998. It's also my day job as well, so it's not like I'm moving away from that industry totally in, in my life. I'm still doing it every single day. But just because I do online marketing as a day job, that doesn't mean to say that I also need to do that on the show as, as well. What I never envisioned was just having other online marketers come on the show and we just talk shop for 45 minutes or an hour. That was never what I had in mind in the first place. So that's something that I'm keen to distance myself from. Now, of course, I'm still going to have online marketing related guests on the show. Of course I am. Those are the people who are in my network. Those are the people who I've got the easiest access to. And I'm also giving my one-to-one -one clients the opportunity to come on the show as well and to talk about their own experiences, which is more than likely going to be involved in some way in online marketing. So I'm, I'm not moving away from that entirely. And while I try to encourage guests from outside of online marketing to come on the show, then in the meantime, I need guests on the show. I need to keep the show moving. So I'm still going to be talking to people who are involved in some way in the online marketing industry. So I hope all that makes sense. For the show to appear congruent going forward, I had to change the name. And I think that having a more generic and a wider reaching brand is going to help with that as I get more diverse guests on the show. So two episodes ago, episode 18, I spoke to Dave King, who's an affiliate marketer and an affiliate marketing coach. In the last episode, I spoke to Jimmy Scott Jr., who's not involved in online marketing as such. He's more of a social media influencer, but those two different areas, they complement each other quite well. They're not too far apart, but in the next episode, let's say I wanted to speak to somebody who is in the sports industry in the episode after that, perhaps somebody who's more involved in the entertainment industry, well, that's not really going to make sense to a casual observer who's looking for a, a show to listen to because they're going to think, well, why has he got this sports person or this entertainment person on an internet marketing podcast? That just doesn't make sense. But if I call the show Engage, Engage with David Walker, then it's going to make a lot more sense overall. And what I'm really looking forward to about this is that now I don't have to try to find a marketing angle. I don't have to try to invent some kind of angle to tie back to so that I can justify having a non-marketing guest on the show. So the value for you as a listener is going to come from the guest's stories, their experiences, their areas of expertise. And you can take away from that whatever you want, even if it's just a bit of entertainment for, for an hour or so. That would be great. Also, with a more generic name going forward, I think that's going to increase the chances of people who are outside of the online marketing industry to accept an invitation to be featured on the show. And for me, that's going to be essential from a growth perspective. If I limit myself to just trying to speak to online marketers, then the show ultimately isn't going to grow. Here's the thing that I, I don't think people involved in internet marketing really appreciate, is that even the, the big names in the industry, and I'm not going to name drop anybody here, but we all know the names that I'm talking about. Even those huge names in online marketing are largely unknown outside of the industry. So with that in mind, as a more unknown host myself, if I'm not speaking to even the big names in the industry, but if I'm speaking to some of the smaller names in the industry, then you can appreciate there's not really going to be much growth in that. There's not going to be any wider interest at all. I read something recently which put all of this into perspective as well, and I'm not sure how accurate these figures are. <laughs> it was just something that I saw on Facebook, but somebody had posted that only 21% of podcasts are active at the moment. And what it meant by that is that only 21% of podcasts have published an episode in so many 
of the most recent days. I'm not entirely sure what that was. There wasn't a lot of context given in this quote, but even if it's not entirely ac accurate, it uh, gave me something to think about. And I think one of the reasons why there is such a huge drop-off rate with podcasting and why so many shows get abandoned is because there is a lot of work involved, of course there is, but there's just no real growth. There's no wider interest in these shows that people are spending so much time and effort on. I think people are so fixated on really niching down their podcasts because they, they have it in their mind that they're going to be speaking to a very specific certain type of person that by doing so they're only speaking to a very small audience sometimes only a handful of listeners and there's no opportunity for wider growth there that's not what I want for the Engage show my intention was always to use this show as an opportunity to reach new people to tap into new audiences outside of what I'm doing in my day job and if I continue by calling it Internet Marketing Reveal, then that's just not going to happen. Also, by rebranding, this now gives me the opportunity to be a lot more reactive to things that are going on in the wider world. So I might see something on the news, I might see something online, on one of the other social media websites which involve somebody who I think would be a really interesting guest, somebody who I'd really like to speak to, and let's face it, at, at this stage, somebody I could realistically get to appear on the show. But again, they don't have to necessarily be involved in online marketing. And I think now with this more uh, generic brand going forward, there's going to be a lot more opportunity uh, for me, uh, a lot more opportunity to get different guests on the show. And it's going to give me a, a better chance overall of, of just growing uh, the audience overall. Since I've come to this decision, I've felt a lot better overall. I'm really excited by the potential. Even just recording this episode for you now, it feels like such a relief that there's been such a weight lifted off my shoulders now. This can now truly be my show. There's no restrictions. I'm not limited to the types of guests I can have on the show. I'm not limited to the type of content that we can talk about. We're basically free to talk now about whatever we want and I don't have to try to tie it back to some marketing angle just for it to make sense uh, to the title of the show overall. Also going forward now, I'm going to build a community around the show, something which I originally intended before but I held back from doing so perhaps because I, I wasn't entirely happy with uh, the show in its previous format. But going forward now, I, I can really focus on building a community around Engage. So if you enjoy the episodes, the previous episodes, this episodes, all the episodes that are going to come after this one, if you enjoy them, if you enjoy the content, you're getting something out of it, then please visit engagersclub.com where you can get more content, you can get behind the scenes access and lots of other benefits as well in exchange for a small monthly contribution just to, to help support the show overall. And no doubt there's going to be a lot more improvements and changes along the way as I embark on this evolutionary process of the show. Hopefully you'll have noticed some of the improved video production if you're watching the video version of this show and I'm sure that this is only going to get better as, as time goes on as well and I think making these changes not trying to get it right first time because nobody ever does that I think that's what makes doing a show like this just so exciting as well and as I mentioned just now I'm really excited about uh, the future of the show so I think I'm going to end things there thank you for listening thank you for watching Thank you so much for all of your support. It is really appreciated. And I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. If you enjoy Engage, please show your support at engagersclub.com, our exclusive members-only club with enough content, training, and behind-the-scenes access to keep you going until the next episode. That's engagersclub.com. Also, please rate and review this podcast wherever you download them. Stay engaged. <laughs>